Hello again guys, bit of a different start to my video but I'm out on another three day world camp. I didn't want to spend all evening on the uh, squirrels so I got here about six o'clock this morning. I got set up, I was here for about an hour and a half, I've just bagged a nice one for the spit. So let's go get him. Yeah, it's only about a 20 metre shot, nice easy one. I was aiming for a hard and long shot again. But he did shoot off and try to get up the tree. I didn't get too far. Sentry. It's broken a few ribs, but it's not exited. Let me just get this back off. It's not easy going with that back on. Yeah, a little male. We make good eating. There we go. I'm going, guys, just absolutely pissed it down. I think it's going to be a bit of a wet one this time. Um, I was going to stay in a little woodland just out back here, um, but it's a little bit too, too open. I'm going to end up getting pummeled by the wind and the rain tonight, so um, I'm just going to head towards my permanent camp. I'm going to stay there. At least the yew tree, it kind of gives me a little bit of shelter. So I'm going to crack on, and I'll see you there, guys. Well, that's been pretty much set up. We have a few coffees and a smoke, and I want to collect a little bit more food to go with this squirrel. I've noticed all the oats are dropping their acorns now, so I think I'll collect a load of them. And tomorrow I'll leach the tannic acid out of them, make some acorn and blackberry patties.
if you've ever processed acorns before you'll know that every now and again you'll find these little oak worms inside the acorn shell but you won't know which ones to strip them so to save a little bit of time just pop them in a bottle of water and you float and you just chuck them away they've probably got a worm in them When I leak the tannic acid out of the acorns tomorrow, I'll bottle up the solution. I've brought some uh, pre-dyed hides out with me that need processing, so I'll mix a bit of that solution with some egg yolks and I can use that to tan the hides. Instead of the egg yolks, you can use the brain of the animal. Supposedly every animal has a big enough brain capacity to tan its own hide, but I tell you, there's only a certain amount of times that you can scoop out squirrel brains before you'll turn to the old uh, egg yolks. It's definitely not the most pleasant of pastimes. 
But yeah, obviously it'll tan the hide, it'll stain it. But being a fur hide, I'm not really bothered about that. You're not really going to see it anyway. So uh, the main reason I'm going to be doing this is just to soften up the hide, make it a bit more pliable. If I don't do this, the hide will be like cardboard. It won't be very nice to work with. Okay guys, I'm going to be chilling out for a few hours now. I'll tell you, even with this fight going, the stars look amazing tonight. Wish you could see them. I've tried to put my camera on them, but it's just not picking them up too well. I really could do with a new one. And now I've got a chance to sit down, I just wanted to give a few shout outs to a couple of YouTube buddies of mine. Uh, the first channel is called The Desert Outdoors. Absolute cracking guy, lives out in Arizona. Um, he's got a brilliant channel, really knows his landscape. He's got like over a hundred really good videos, awesome fishermen, does a lot of videos on um, wild edibles, traps, firearms, other, other bush crafty type videos. So yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go check him out, it's definitely worth a sub. The other channel is called Andrew Marathi. Andrew's awesome, really nice guy. He's fairly new to bushcraft, but he really knows his stuff when it comes to hunting. Um, I know he's just got himself a new hunting permission, he's already put out a few cracking videos from it. He's got a lovely rifle, I think it's a uh, Rapid, I'm not too sure of the model. But yeah, he's really into the uh, wild camping, oak bush crafty. So please check him out guys, give him a sub. What I'll do, I'll leave a link for both their channels down below and I'll just give you a little reminder at the end. And just a quick one, I just wanted to say a big thank you to you guys for watching my videos, subscribing, all the kind comments, advice and to all the great friends that I've made on my channel muchly appreciated so yeah thank you very much guys morning guys that was a lovely night's sleep I'm gonna get myself some brekkie got a few things I wanted to do in practice so I'll be around camp for most of the day. 
might nip out with a rifle later on and try and bag myself another squirrel for tonight, but I have got something to go with my meal already, so I'm not too bothered if I don't. Definitely not the prettiest of baskets, but it's fairly strong. Getting better and my daughter really likes them. <laughs> I've not really got that much interest in making grandma's baskets. It's more the technique that I'm practicing. Once I get better at weaving baskets, I can upscale all the materials and the size, put the same techniques to items like fish trap baskets, crayfish traps, things like that will be really useful to me.
when you boil up the acorn meat another four times, you don't have to leave it on the boil for long. As soon as it comes to the boil, I just tip it out, put some fresh water in it, put it back on the boil. Five times it normally does the trick, it gets rid of all the nasties. Once the acorn meat's been boiled, it makes it really soft, kind of break up like a powder, especially when it's dried out first. Anything that you make with a grain type flour, bread, things like that, you can use a acorn meal as a replacement to the flour. This stuff's got about 450 calories per 100 grams of meat, so it's really nutritious. It's got a lot of protein, a lot of carbs in it, it's really good for you. Hello again guys, it's another beautiful clear night, all I'm going to be doing tonight is watching this fire for a few hours, have a smoke and chill out, I've downloaded the most recent episode of The Walking Dead, I haven't watched it yet so later on I'll crawl into my hammock and watch that, ok guys if I don't speak to you again tonight I'll see you in the morning, night night. Morning guys, another cracking night's sleep. I all seem to sleep a lot better when I'm out here. I've still got some of this acorn meal left, plus a little bar of chocolate as well, so I'm going to have a chocolate and acorn patty for breakfast. Other than that, all I've got planned for today is to tan the few hides that I've brought with me, get packed up and get out of here.